hi friends uh, before proceeding to the videos I you have to subscribe my channel and press on bell icon and uh, press on also you will get notifications on each upload this is insulation resistance tester insulation continuity tester uh, model 5001 something like that and here are the two terminals you know uh, one is the earth and the other is the line earth is black and line is red uh, this is the equipment Mm, this equipment is very frequently used in industry uh, a very useful res equipment and a very great result equipment up to 1000 volts you can check this has three uh, ranges uh, 500 volts 250 volts and 1000 volts here is the off position and then there is uh, ohm range which is a normal multimeter range and here is the auto null which is used for the grounding and uh, while you are switching uh, you testing a motor so all uh, auto null is used here is the test knob while you are testing uh, a motor so you have to press once or you have to press and then turn so this here it will be locked so uh, you will be able to use this equipment for testing uh, and while you will return it back it will come off and a safe will come on the screen I will show you in a little time you will not touch on the props while it is testing on the resistance range so from 250 to 1000 volts will come over here on these props so you will not touch over here mm. what we can do with this equipment we can test uh, industrial motors induction motors other motors so this here is a small motor here is a big motor uh, such motors we can test uh, with uh, this equipment I will show you the procedure how we will do it also we have cables in industry uh, so here I brought a cable uh, another thing is the inductors or windings we can test with uh, such equipment so in industry you will be able to use this equipment uh, I will show you uh, such a test how we are going to test motors uh, I will test the insulation uh, this motor is 380 volts so we can test this motor on 500 volts range uh, because 500 volt is enough for 380 volt 250 will be less and 1000 will be high so we will not select on 1000 we will not select on 250 instead we will uh, test on 500 volt for this uh, small cables you can test on 250 like house wire wiring or something like that or some windings you will test on 250 volts uh, which use 250 volts um, so here we are selecting on 500 volts uh, to test this motor I will show you in a moment how we will do it uh, so while we are test uh, selecting on 500 volts uh, we will not touch on the props this is I am talking many times in this video because you know this is safety so the 500 volt will come on the props uh, so we will turn we will press and turn on this knob and now it is ready uh, if we co connect these props together it will show zero and while we are opening the props it will show out of limits this is same like ohm meters as you are using the multimeters uh, I am giving you a close up over here of the props so these props are giving little spark and some cracking noise, all noise also but you will not be able to see this on camera because light is here uh, I can see it uh, anyhow we are going to test this motor so test procedure is uh, very straightforward these three windings they should have integrity uh, so they will show some zero result as you see while I am testing all the windings are showing zero uh, in between them so there should be integrity in the windings now I am going to test on the body uh, this body should not have any resistance this should have out of limits or very very much high resistance on mega ohm range so it will be accepted but for this one you know as I am testing it is showing out of limit so out of limit means uh, this has a very high resistance very high insulation resistance for the windings uh, in this motor so the body with the body windings have, have very high resistance so this motor is good uh, because it has a very high resistance so now I mm, switched off the mega uh, to safe position now you will take a small piece of wire and you will short it uh, these motor terminals with a body so then 
uh, you will be able to touch it over here this will be safe now uh, because if you are charge uh, testing one time the motor so it will become a capacitor and it will be charged to 500 volts and it will it could give 500 volts shock to a person which will be a problematic thing so we are going to make it auto null or we are going to make it with a small piece of loop or wire uh, we can test cables also i am going to show you how we are going to test uh, cables with uh, this equipment our insulation resistance tester uh, so same way we will press uh, at this uh, test button i lock this press button and uh, testing on 500 volts rear range uh, both the cables if i will check it is showing out of limits uh, out of limits means that this has a very very much high resistance uh, it means that our cable is okay this have no uh, insulation breakdown in between them or uh, there is no short circuit or uh, no weak resistance so that's why it's showing out of limits uh, so you have to touch one times after touching so now i am able to touch on these cables uh, now i'm going to create a short on this cable on the other end of the cable i'm creating a short uh, so then i will show you how it is behaving uh, you can understand that suppose that uh, this cable has been shorted itself we did not create a short but it created a short itself so now we are checking and it is showing a zero oh, zero result means zero result means there is a short circuit on the cables uh, as we have created this short uh, so that's why it is showing zero uh, so this is a good indication i mean if in an industry you have a cable and that is short circuited you will be able to check it uh, here is one of our uh, chalk these chalks are this is blast chalk these blasts are used with the lights uh, so we will select the 250 volt range because this blast you know this is uh, 250 volts this is not 500 not, not 1000 uh, so we will test on 250 if we will exceed that voltage it could become defective now if i'm checking on the winding it is showing zero because the winding have integrity uh, so when integrity is there in the winding it means that one test is okay uh, but now further we will test it with a body uh, so the body should have should not have any resistance i mean it should have very very much high resistance out of limits as it is showing out of limits at the moment uh, so this chalk is okay uh, on our test if it was showing zero on with the body it would be bad but it is not the case um, here we are going to test this another motor this motor is also 250 volts motor single phase motor so with a 250 volt range we are going to test this has three cables you see you can see three cables are there uh, so these three cables uh, should have continuity in between them if they have not continue not having any continuity it means that motor is bad as you can see one winding has no integrity the other winding has integrity it is showing zero but the this one this one winding is showing out of limits it means that the one of the wire the upper wire this one is out of limits with the winding with the other windings this is open circuited inside the motor uh, so that's why it is not showing any result to you with the body if i will check it should tell out of limits but uh, and in this test it is telling out of limits so it means that it has not any problem with the insulation but it has a problem with its winding uh, hopefully friends you had learned something from this video um, this maker you know this is very very much useful equipment in industry if you have some electrical uh, work you are doing some electrical work some wiring winding or anything like more you are dealing with the motors or uh, industries so it is useful for you some people have small equipment like uh, clamp or multimeter they are using that uh, for insulation resistance testing but that's not working because if uh, anybody have a multimeter so with a multimeter you know uh, they, their uh, terminals are giving very very much low voltages like four and a half volt three volt or 1.5 volt or nine volt would come over here and under 9 volt or 4.5 volt the resistance is tested uh, in ordinary multimeter so uh, such a in such a case uh, you know the result will not be proper and uh, 
it is a must that you have to stress the insulation up to the working voltage as this was 380 volts uh, motor so i tested this motor on 500 volts uh, so if it is good on 500 volts it means that it would it will run on 380 volts as well uh, uh hopefully friends you understand what i told uh, if we will test this on ordinary multimeter, it will never ever give us proper result. Uh, this will not have any um, durability of the test. Uh, so we must have to have such an expensive equipment, this MAGAR or insulation resistance tester because these are way too expensive compared to multimeters. Con multimeters are available from a few uh, dollars to a few hundred dollars but this this one is starting from a few hundred dollars and it is going to high price like a few thousand dollars uh, so if it, this equipment is uh, expensive so for sure this equipment is good also it's bigger it's heavier than multimeter uh, this is not uh, something a pocket equipment instead this is a little bit bigger than a pocket equipment uh, but it has its own uh, you know benefit and uh, value in industry uh, before uh, last uh, few years uh, there was a, a mult megar which was used uh, this, there was a handle which was cranked by a person and uh, a generator was running inside which was producing a dc power uh, and that dc power was used to test but here in this one there is a battery and uh, there is a power supply inside uh, which is stepping up the battery is stepping up to up to 5000 volts uh, from 250 to 1000 volt and uh, it is testing under that voltage uh, this is a very useful equipment you know this is very very much uh, easy to use and user friendly there is no need to crank any alternator or generator as in the older days it was so one person can use this one uh, that one the generator one was used by two people uh, hopefully people you liked this video if you liked it give a big thumbs up uh, subscribe on my channel press on bell icon so you will get notifications uh, thank you for watching